All right, now that the ground is pretty much level, we'll know more when we put the, the uh, tent frame up. We'll throw a level across the one of the rails at the top. And we can adjust. If we're off by four or five inches, I could remove four or five inches on each side. And I'm not really, it's flat enough on the inside of the tent. So we'll see, uh, you'll know what I mean when I set the frame up. So what we do first, obviously, is we get to this box. They put it here, they delivered it here. This thing is heavy, I can't move it. I barely got it on this little spot here. And uh, what we're gonna do is open the box, obviously, and start removing parts and lay them out in the area like a uh, puzzle. All right, we'll lay out a bunch of pieces and then we'll go to town and start putting them together. So yes, if you guessed it right, it's the Shelter Logic Garage in a Box SUV slash T-R-U-C-K, kid. 13 by 20 by 12 foot high in the middle. This should be enough for this truck. If it's not, we have a problem. All right, let's get to it. All right, so, so far I pulled out the front and back panels and the main panel, uh, the main section for the tent. It's pretty heavy. It's not bad, it feels pretty durable. Then we got about 9,000 pieces. So let me start taking these out. We're gonna look at the instructions here. Let's see. Right, we're gonna go through all this, make sure. We'll go through the checklist. All right. Uh, identify the soil conditions. Oh, confirm the type of shelter and the number of legs. Yep, yeah, we're gonna check all that. All right, and these parts are numbered, so it's pretty easy. It's just taking its time consuming. So you want to go through your checklist to make sure you have everything. If you don't, I heard they're pretty good customer service. All right, here you go. This is the grid I was telling you about. You're going to lay the grid out like that on the property. Each one of these parts has a part number. For instance, if we took this... If you look here there's a part number all right 302 795 so it's obviously going to be one of these so we're going to go through everything lay them out in the driveway then we'll start putting it together all right so what you want to do the first thing is set this up you can see that says rare so it's the back of the tent this obviously is the front and on this piece of paper, you'll find every single piece labeled. And you get used to it after a while, but you see what I'm doing out here? This is the best way to do it. All right. The absolute best way. So what we're gonna do now is we have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna start putting these together. All right, when we put them together, you're going to start seeing a frame up here, obviously. Um, what I have to do before we uh, start is I got to put these here, the 10110, the straight bars, all the way across on each side. And then I can start putting all these pieces together. And obviously I'll start from the back, and I'll work my way up to the front, and then we can actually get a better eye on the ground if it's level or not and we can take it from there the one thing you want to pay attention is this bag comes with all three that's right three different types 68 on one 56 on the other and 124 on the other pieces if you put these bolts next to each other some of them are off by just a few millimeters you got to use the short ones where it tells you to. So pay attention. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a couple of Tupperwares, you know, the disposable ones, and I'm going to start just separating all these bolts real quick. It's better to prepare yourself, take your time, and this way you're not running around or you're dropping them and shit like that, all right? So let's go do that. I can't stress it enough to prepare yourself because, look, these bolts here... And these bolts, if you look at them really fast, 
you know, some people can mistake them. But you see the difference? So you want to keep the smaller ones in here, the larger ones in here. Keep your knife in, in there, you know what I mean? This way it makes it easier. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go get myself a ratchet. You could use a regular drill, but set the torque back. I might do that. And uh, I will have a ratchet out here just in case. All right, so those back posts actually came in to, uh, as a benefit. I was talking about the screws, the uh, bolts and nuts and stuff. The longer screws are for all the thicker trusses, okay? Not only at the bottom where they clamp, but the, all the trusses. And the thinner piping is for the shorter uh, bolts and nuts. The one issue I ran into already, and you have to keep an eye out for this, when you're putting these pieces together, you can see it's bent right there. It's probably done you know when it was packed or whatever the case may be so I got to get some pliers and kind of pull that out so the piece will fit in there nice and easy so keep that in mind while you're putting this stuff together all right we're coming along here I got three I guess sections you want to call it up so far and I'm doing it from the ground so start putting them out start putting these top beams across the bottom ones then you could literally grab your top, whatever you want to call this part, and you're just going to slide it up here, just like this. You're going to put your bolt and nut through. You're going to do the same for this one. Have this one coming down. Have the other one. It can hang. It's strong enough. Let it hang and work your way down to the bottom and put in the rails, side, the bottom rails. But yeah, I'll tell you what, with just the cover and not the sides, you could basically fit in here. Be a nice tent for camping. You could fit like, I don't know, 20, 30 people in this, this bad boy. And just think, we don't even have the sides on this thing yet. The sides are going to raise that probably another five feet. So it's going to be, <laughs> this thing is going to be monstrous. All right, let me get to it, kid. Let's see what we got. Let's see how I keep up my nuts and bolts nice and easy. Don't put them there where you're going to walk, because you're going to walk into them and kick them all over the place. Then you're going to start kicking yourself in the in the ass, you know what I mean? Looking for all the nuts and bolts. All right, so let me get to it. Very simple so far. Not bad. They say you need three people. Yeah, right. I'm going to do this on my own. I don't know how I'm going to get the sides up yet, but we'll figure it out. And uh, we'll see. All right, now that the uh, framing is done for the upper portion, the next step is we have to put in the trusses from one side to the other and they come with these flat ends here all right there's going to be a total of six you have to put them together so you'll have a male and a female end you're going to just put this in Let's see if i can get it done holding this phone line up the hole just like this grab the shorter of the two bolts let's see grab one here very simple. We're gonna stick it right there. Get the nut. All right, you get what I'm saying. Just put it together, and you're gonna bring the truss out. I'm gonna have to just back off these uh, nuts. We're gonna put one on this side. We're going to put one on that side and then come over here and line it up. And that's how you're going to get this thing kind of square. You know, you're going to have to just adjust this, move it around a little bit, and then you put it on. So let me get my drill and start going one at a time. All right, so when you're putting these trusses in, I'm, I'm in the front. I'm facing the back of the tent. You're going to back these screws out, and you're going to start from this side. And put the nut on the back side of the truss and then go across and do the same thing each one of these these uh, pieces of framing or these these sections get a truss all right the trusses are almost done just a little uh, heads up the front and the back truss 
each truss they want it on the front side of these poles but the front one you have to put it on the back side over here and the reason being is when you pull the tent cover over the front of this you don't want any obstructions and also you want these uh, bolts facing in you don't want the nut and stuff facing out the tent can rip so always make it flush at the bottom here and remember the truss goes on the inside and also goes on the inside of the back one okay i just wanted to point that out because sometimes you put everything together and you're like oh wait a minute so yeah take your time read the instructions but it's coming along another thing i can test for to see if my ground's level is i'm going to put a level right on the truss here i'm going to put my level on the truss and we'll see what it looks like another quick pointer when you're using a drill and if you don't adjust the torque you don't want to pull it in too much so you want to get it snug enough and you'll see it start to squeeze in and it squeezed in you see how it made the indent and we're tight so don't go crazy with it come over here we'll tighten the middle all right we'll come over here and again you don't want to go super tight on this as soon as you start to see it pull in that's it you don't want to go crazy because you'll bend it this is a good view you see how it pulls it in that's it it's tight and it squeezes it you don't want to compress this pipe too much so we'll go around and i'll tighten all the trust uh nuts all right now that i got it up i got the sides going the sides are just one single side with a little leg in the front that curves we're going to put those at the four corners and that's what we're going to later on in the video ratchet strap the front cover of the wall you can see here I literally lifted it up what I did was when I had the small frame on the ground I lifted it right in the middle like I stood over here I reached down I grabbed it and I had a uh, one of these already made in my right hand and as I lifted it I stuck it in and it was just teeter-tottering I didn't get it on video but you can do this on your own you don't need three guys if anything I'm gonna need someone we're going to throw rope strings over the top to pull the top over. And that's the only time I'll need somebody. Other than that, you do these side posts. There's two of them. There's one and then there's a little section there. And now I'm doing the bottom rails. Like the top rails here, the bottom have clamps. You have end clamps to get the end post. And then you're going to have to be 8 inches from the ground up. And then you have a double clamp to grab a post on each side in the middle. So you have an end post, which is the end of the tent. And then you have line posts, almost like a, a chain link fence. We call them line posts. We call these line posts because they're in line. And then at the end of each run, we call them end posts. But you're going to clamp them eight inches off the ground. Don't make these super tight at all. Just get them up because it turns out when you put the cover on this stuff has to come off and these pipes have to be reinstalled into the tent and grooves believe it or not so just put these in you know nice and light but remember you're gonna have to take them off when the cover is on and i think this is just to get everything nice and square once you put all these on you're going to measure make sure you have 13 feet from left to right all right let's go back here so from left to the right side you want 13 feet you want it to be the same within an inch or two of each other all right the structure is up i checked for level everything looks good I measured 13 so many feet across okay everything looks good it's straight want to make sure your sides are straight Come over here. All right, looks good. It's a nice size structure. This is it for today. I'm gonna cut this video short now. And I want you to hit that notification. 
subscribe if you're not a subscriber and if this video helped you out a little bit give me a like and stay tuned for putting the cover on this shelter logic let me come back here look how big this thing is man i gotta come all the way back to get it in the frame look at that thing it's as big as the house all right we will catch you on the next one Yo, Sonny, where are you, kid? Yeah, the ground is level. This isn't level down here because I want the water to pitch away. But up there inside the tent will be level. A little bit of a pitch going to the left through the stone wall. It'll seep through and go down that side little cliff there. All right, now I just got to pack things away. Make sure you put your tools away and uh, put everything out for the garbage guy. Put everything out front. And yeah, it looks good. I had to bury some of it on this side. But it's fine about four inches to make it level so it looks good from the street when the tent is up and uh, that'll be it we'll catch you on the next one sunny you in the bush sunny where are you cuz sunny yo sunny